Okay, so here goes for a tutorial on the app called Orasma. Uh, you can see it up here, it has a purple A for the icon. It's an augmented reality app. Um, what it does is enables you, uh, for example, uh, let's say a student's made a nice little poster. Well, if that's stuck up on a wall, um, great, people will see it and they'll read it. Let's say it's got some interesting text and pictures. But if the student, let's say they'd um, describe their family in Spanish um, and the text is there, wouldn't it be nice to hear the student's voice saying it, or even better, see the student, or perhaps even see a bunch of students doing a role play or a dialogue, maybe even in costume with wigs, who knows? Anyway, the only limit is your imagination here. So, Orasma enables you to, uh, when, when this poster, which is stuck up on a wall in your department, is scanned with the Orasma app, a video of the child or children doing whatever you wanted them to do will appear as if by magic floating above the document. This is not the same as a QR code. A QR code would also work, but would kind of spoil the look of the poster and would of course take you to a, uh, some online resource that would take up the whole screen of your iPad. What's funky about this Orasma is that, as I said, it does float, just hovers above the poster. So, let's have a go. When you open the Orasma app, you'll be asked to set up a free account. It doesn't take very long. Pause this and come back when you've done that. Um, now, there's only one real icon on the, on the screen, and that's this grey A for Orasma. If you tap on that, you will see this dashboard. I'm not going to go into everything right now. I'm just going to show you how to create and share an aura. So I'm going to go to the section that says My, and you can see I already have a couple of auras created. Aura is the name they give to this combination of trigger image on the display and uh, the floating video. So, as with most apps, to create a new one, it's pretty self-explanatory. There is a plus sign at the bottom. I'm going to tap on that. Now, Orasma app already has a, a bunch of built-in animations. If you wanted these to appear over your trigger image, over your poster, you could choose them, but they're pretty limited. And as I said before, you really want to make this personalized to the student who created the work, or it could be your voice, of course. So instead, we're going to go to device, and device just means this iPad, and we are going to hit the big purple plus, and it's going to ask you, do you want to make a video now with your camera? Or do you want to pull in a video, this is going to be the floating video I was talking about, from your photo album? So you don't have to do this live. You could make the video at any point and then come back to Orasma and make it later. So I'm going to go into my camera roll. I have a three second video here of my dog stretched out on the cold tiles after a hot little walk. So I'm going to use that. Um, you can give it a name, or well, the dog's name is Baby, so there we go, finish. Now it's saying, would you like to create an aura right now, or are you going to do it later? Well, obviously I'm going to do it now, so I can show you how it works. This is where it gets really interesting, because you can see, if I tilt it, that the Orasma app has opened up the camera and you have a resizable frame, just drag from the corners uh, like that um, through which you can choose, let's go back to this poster, I'll slide that underneath the student would now look at their poster and they would choose an area on it that was really really distinctive I'm going to have to get this, I'm going to size this right so you can see it, but let's say that part of the poster was really distinctive. How can I tell it's really distinctive? Well, because you can see at the bottom here, the bar has gone from red to green. Once it's in the green position, Orasma is telling you, yep, that is going to trigger beautifully. So I'm going to snap that image. And now you can see that the video I took is hovering over the poster. Now, at this point I can resize it just by pinching and it's still playing and I can move it where I want where I want it to go on the iPad. I could even on the poster I could move it to one side if I want. 
can make it bigger, small, I can turn it. It can be really crazy. Okay, so I'm happy with that position. Now I'm going to press the next arrow. Okay, so let's get rid of this poster. Put the iPad back down. Okay, so I finished the aura. I'm going to call it baby again. Now, if you want other people to be able to see this with their Orasma app, you need to make it public. So tap the public ta tab so that it goes purple. That's all you have to do. And then click finish. Okay, so I'll put that to one side. I'll bring the poster back in the middle. So imagine now somebody is coming along with the Orasma app. I'm going to pick up a different iPad, my son's and I'm going to open the Orasma app and I'm going to hover and scan over this picture and you can see the swirly Orasma thing appears and there is the video and the video loops I only did three seconds so that's going to get annoying pretty fast uh, but you can you can upload up to about 25 seconds of video. If I move the iPad away, you can see it stops. As soon as I bring it back, it's going to recognize that image and bring the video. Pretty cool. So have fun with that. That is the Orasma app.